As for Montana State, I thought they were going to beat Idaho heading into that game. I thought by a touchdown, I did not see that type of performance coming. I think Montana State let the big game jitters get to them a bit. They got away from their style of play. They only rushed eight times for 25 yards in the first half. And this is a team that coming into this game had rushed for 300 yards in five straight games. So it was very out of character. Malat was 2 of 10 passing in the first half. Sean Chambers only had two carries for four yards and no pass attempts. And Tommy Malat had two rushes for two yards. So heading into halftime, the Bobcats were not playing their style. They were completely discombobulated. It just did not feel like the Montana State team we've been accustomed to seeing. They did come alive down the stretch. They made a comeback. They, you know, they made a run. But it felt like overall Montana State tried to beat Idaho at their own game. They were trying to throw the football. And that just isn't the Bobcats' style. Idaho's running gun. They got a great passing attack. The Bobcats have a good passing attack, but they have a great rushing attack. It just felt like the Bobcats did things a little bit backwards. It feels like they tried to start with the pass to set up the run, where typically we see them use that awesome rushing attack to set up Chambers and lot in the play action, the passing game. Like I said last week, I think they have the best play action attack in the country. You can't do that when you're not running the football effectively. So it made a real big impact. I think, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. The Bobcats, I don't know what they were doing. They messed with things a little bit. But they've been one of the best rushing teams in the country. I was really shocked to see that slow first half. But you got to expect they'll get back to it. Now, another takeaway. The Bobcats, realistically, they haven't had a lot of experience playing in close football games. They just haven't. They've been dominating teams. They've been blowing teams out, steamrolling teams in big sky play. And it felt like Idaho... In the close game after Idaho struggled the week before versus the Grizz, they learned some lessons. Maybe Montana State is going to take this experience, take this loss, and learn from it. Because realistically, sometimes you got to get punched in the mouth to grow as a football team. To sum it up nicely, my big takeaways, the Bobcats, they didn't stay true to their run-first style of football. They didn't set up the passing game using the run. And the Montana State coaches and players, you know, they could use this as an opportunity to learn from it move forward with those mistakes because ultimately they have a great coaching staff. They're loaded with talent, and there's no reason this Montana State team still can't make a deep playoff run. Sometimes you get knocked off your horse, you got to get back on and keep riding. So that's kind of where I'm at with the Bobcats right now. I think coming into the season, this is worth mentioning, my biggest concern for this team other than their the health of their two running quarterbacks because Chambers and Malak got banged up a couple times last year, they're a little one-dimensional on offense, and I was concerned what happens if the Bobcats get out into a shootout where maybe it's on the scoreboard it wasn't a shootout, but what if you get into a game where you need to throw the football to win? It's not a complimentary thing. Running the football is their focal point. But what about when running the football becomes complimentary and throwing the football is a necessity? And that was a challenge for the Bobcats. That's something I was worried about heading into the season. We saw that versus Idaho. That being said, their passing game, has made major improvements down the stretch. Like I said, this is an opportunity to learn from the Bobcats. Next up, they have a great chance to bounce back with Northern Arizona in town this upcoming weekend. That's a game Montana State should win, keep that home winning streak alive, get right back on track, 